Hi, this is Mr. Webb again, and we're going to talk about the stroke for uh, the drumming. Uh, drumming is basically broken down into two things. A stroke and a tap. The stroke is the full stroke. It's a lot like when the wind players play with full air. And so to do the stroke, we have to think about the hinges of our arm a little bit. Let me get turned around correctly. You have a hinge here at your shoulder. This one we don't use much in drumming. We use it to slide around if we play quads or if we're playing drum set, but it's not a hinge. We're not doing this. Uh, so that's one hinge we don't really use. The other hinge is the elbow. And we do use this, but it's not the primary hinge. It is a reactionary hinge. The main hinge we use is our wrist. And uh, we have two bones in our wrist right here, two bones on the side, and we want those to go like this. They are designed to go straight. So when you do this, then you get a very weak um, stroke. So we don't want that. So we got our grip, fingers and, and uh, wrists, we got our V, and then we're gonna do a stroke where we turn our wrist fully extended like this. So here's my wrist down, here's my wrist fully extended. And then we just go straight down like that. That's the stroke, all right? Now you notice my arm is not moving much because I'm not forcing it to. I'm not utilizing it. If I could turn a little bit, let's see if I can turn a little bit. But you notice that my arm is not st still. I'm not using any tension at all. The only place I have tension is right here at the fulcrum, but not enough that you couldn't pull it out of my hand. It's just a little force. The back of my hand, there's no tension at all. Like if I held it without my finger and my thumb, you would pull it right out like it was in air. But this is, it should be about 30% pressure, 30% pressure there. And then you'll see that when I'm turning my hand, my arm is moving slightly, but it's not making it happen. This would be wrong. See, there's no wrist turn there. So you have a little bit of wrist turn and you allow your arm to naturally respond to it. All right, so that's the stroke. All right, now we practice strokes with an exercise we call eights. And we basically do eight strokes on each hand. It goes something like this. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Now I noticed a couple things when I play that. The stick that's not playing didn't move at all. It just sits there, totally relaxed, totally relaxed. And that's a big part because a big part of drumming is what we call two heights. Loud height, soft height. So we get it in position to be able to turn our wrist. And if we already have our wrist, if we're like this, then we can't turn our wrist. We only can go down. We can't go up and down. So that's a stroke. Now, to do the strokes correctly and eights correctly, we usually start slowly just to get a good sound. We're trying to get even sounds on each hand. Five, six, seven, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. We're trying to keep time, try to keep a steady beat, and our hands sound the same from one to the other. Now, as we get going, we try to speed up. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and we can play it in exercises, okay? And we even get going faster. Now I'm going to stand up a little bit uh, so you can see on the side and watch my hand. I'm a little too tall for this, but see how my wrist is turning? You just see it's just like that. And it's just like I'm patting somebody on the head. If you look inside my hand, you see the stick kind of moves between my fingers and the heel of my hand. That's totally all right. You don't want to have that where it doesn't move. It chokes the stick and it chokes the drum head. So those are some things you want to think about when we play the eights.